Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video I'm going to be going over the steps on how to take out a swan if you want to leave the cordis in place. So as a refresher, you have your swan line that's going to be connected to your cordis here and your white port here. So let's say it's going to be sutured in place, hopefully your line is sutured in place, um, and we want to take the swan out. So how we're going to do that is step one, we're going to hold our horses there. We're going to come all the way over to the end of this line. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that this balloon is not inflated. So we're going to unlock, we're going to take this port off, we're going to undo, you know, let any air that's in there escape. We're going to empty our syringe. I'm going to put this back on and I'm going to lock it. So the end of the balloon, the end of the line, the balloon is not going to be inflated. So next step is going to be I want to disconnect my my pressure line setup. Now what you want it to look like is you're going to have a three-way stopcock on here and here. Um, where it's connecting to your pressure line setup. What you want to do is go ahead and lock that towards the patient, disconnect the rest of your cords. This entire thing is freed up. You're going to disconnect your cords here and there should be nothing connected here. We want to make sure that when we take this one out, I can put this directly in the biohazard bin and we're good to go. I don't got to put it, you know, in a towel or, you know, in a bag and just leave it sitting around. We want this thing to be in the trash um, as soon as we take it out. So once you have this done, um, now you're going to come over to the end, the insertion point where the swan is. And at this point we're going to start, you know, if you need to start taking off your dressing to get the swan out, go ahead and do so. We're going to come over where this white divot is and we're going to twist it so it's in the middle like so and at that point then I can pull my swan out a little bit you want to make sure you know when this is actually in a patient this is going to be a little uncomfortable for them but you're just gonna pull the swan out a little bit now that this is able to you know you're able to pull this entire thing out now at this point you're gonna lay your patient flat or a little bit reverse Trendelenburg we're gonna have the patient take a deep breath in and hold or you're gonna have them hum whichever you'd like, um, but you can have them take a deep breath in, hold, pull the line out. It's going to be quite a bit of a line, so they're going to be holding their breath for a sec. Um, this will go in the trash, and this end here you're going to go ahead and, you know, redress it if you have to put a tegaderm over this end. There are caps that come in the cordis setup, but we do not have those caps, so put a tegaderm over and that's going to keep any air from going in through this hole into your line. And that's pretty much it. Then you're just going to have your cordis in place. Um, whenever the time comes and the patient needs to get out of ICU, they should not be having a cordis in. So we'll usually rewire this for a triple lumen or we'll DC the cordis and we'll put a pick line in. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.